Over the past 300 years, giraffes have been sliding towards extinction. Their numbers have dropped dramatically from around 1 million to 100,000. But recently, they've been making headlines for a different reason. According to a new study, the world's giraffe population has increased by 20%. It sounds like cause for celebration, but is it really? To what extent is this plus 20% news the result of more accurate and technically sophisticated survey methods? And how much of it is due to the success of conservation projects that bring giraffes back to the places where they once lived but are now extinct? Either way, it's the story of an incredible comeback. Giraffes are one of Africa's most iconic animals found nowhere else on the planet. They live in 21 sub-Saharan countries, from Niger and Chad in the north, right down to South Africa. But despite their instant recognizability, they haven't been given as much attention as bold predators like lions, or other large and endangered species such as rhinos and elephants. In fact, though, there's only around one giraffe for every three to four African elephants in the wild. Giraffes have been undergoing what scientists term a silent extinction. Many people don't even realize they're at risk or how much their numbers have declined. Back in the 18th century, around one million giraffes roamed the savanna. But by 1985, there were just 155,000 left. And by 2015, this had plummeted to 97,000, a drop of around 40%. In 2016, the IUCN Red List finally reclassified them from least concern to vulnerable. Yet a new study shows that giraffe numbers across Africa are now around 117,000, meaning the population seems to have gone up again by 20%. On the face of it, this sounds like great news, but does it mean giraffes are now out of danger? Unfortunately, things aren't quite that simple. While there have been some conservation successes leading to increased numbers of giraffes in countries like Kenya and Uganda, these new statistics are partly down to more accurate data. In recent years, conservationists have worked hard to strengthen cross-border cooperations between the 21 countries where giraffes are found. Survey methods have also improved, and more are being undertaken, including ones that look at giraffe as a focus species. More accurate survey methods mean that while giraffes can often be well camouflaged under tall trees or thick vegetation, they are now more likely to be spotted. and photographic surveys can make use of advanced technology to identify individual animals. One of the leading organizations in this field is the Giraffe Conservation Foundation. Using latest technology, it tracks individual giraffes to gain valuable information about their habitats and behaviors, as well as concrete population numbers. But what exactly does this kind of conservation technology look like? One of GCF's keystone programs is the Twiga Tracker Initiative, the largest ever GPS satellite tracking study to be conducted on giraffes. It has monitored over 300 individuals so far. The Twiga Tracker Initiative uses specially developed solar-powered GPS units, some of which weigh less than 40 grams and can be attached to a giraffe's tail or ear. Catching a giraffe is not an easy task, but expert teams, including a specialist wildlife veterinarian, can do this without causing the animal harm. While on the ground, it's monitored closely, and various samples are collected for research projects. To minimize stress, the giraffe is released again as soon as possible. Once a tag is attached, it can connect to local data transmission or satellite networks to provide a real-time picture of the giraffe's movements. This can be analyzed to build a sense of how it interacts with its environment.
Another form of technology being used to assess certain giraffe populations is artificial intelligence. Each giraffe has a slightly different coat pattern. Just like human fingerprints, no two are identical. Because of this, the Giraffe Conservation Foundation has been able to use machine learning and pattern recognition when surveying selected populations. After first conducting a photographic survey, which involves driving around and photographing every giraffe spotted within a certain area, researchers can use pattern recognition to establish just how many individual animals they have encountered. This prevents any recounts and creates an accurate database. Thanks to methods like these, data on giraffes in the wild has increased and improved. So how can it help with conservation on the ground? Over the past 300 years, around 90% of natural giraffe habitat has been lost. But having a solid understanding of their habitats and preferred environments can help win back valuable living space for these long-legged mammals. Sometimes, appropriate living space is available, just that issues such as poaching or armed human conflict have driven the giraffes away. In this case, translocations can help. Translocation involves moving small numbers of giraffes from one conservation area to another, helping to establish new populations or boost already existing ones. It's logistically very challenging, but the rewards can be great. Over the past few years, the Giraffe Conservation Foundation has carried out a series of successful translocations. So far, 158 giraffes have been moved across more than 15,000 kilometers in five countries, regaining 7 million acres of habitat. Plus, more than 50 baby giraffes have been born into newly established populations. None of this would have been possible without a fundamental understanding of how giraffes move through the landscapes and what kind of habitats they need. For this reason, technology such as GPS satellite tracking and pattern recognition, plus other approaches like high-quality photographic studies are crucial in the fight to protect them. Still, with only 117,000 left in the world today, the danger is definitely not over. But thanks to the dedicated work of conservation organizations and innovative new methods of wildlife tracking, it is possible to see a brighter future for giraffes. Hi there, we've got news from the Giraffe Conservation Foundation. They're starting a new project in Mozambique with the aim to more than double the number of giraffes over the next five years, which is quite amazing. If you want to learn more about the conservation work, follow the link below and be sure to check out our conservation playlist because we have way more videos for you.